The Intelligent Network is the standard network architecture specified in the ITU-TQ1200 series recommendations. It is intended for fixed as well as mobile telecom networks. It allows operators to differentiate themselves by providing value-added services in addition to the standard telecom services such as PSTN, ISDN and GSM services on mobile phones. The intelligence is provided by network nodes on the service layer, distinct from the switching layer of the core network, as opposed to solutions based on intelligence in the core switches or telephone equipment. The IN nodes are typically owned by telecommunications operators. IN is supported by the signaling system number 7 protocol between telephone network switching centers and other network nodes owned by network operators. Examples of IN services, televoting, call screening, telephone number portability, toll-free calls free phone, prepaid calling, account card calling, virtual private networks, centric service, private number plans, universal personal telecommunications service, mass calling service, prefix redialing from cell phones abroad, seamless MMS message access from abroad, reverse charging, home area discount, premium rate calls, Call distribution based on various criteria associated with the call, location-based routing, time-based routing, proportional call distribution, call queuing, call transfer. History and key concepts, the IN concepts, architecture and protocols were originally developed as standards by the ITUT which is the Standardization Committee of the International Telecommunication Union. Prior to this a number of telecommunications providers had proprietary IN solutions. The primary aim of the IN was to enhance the core telephony services offered by traditional telecommunications networks, which usually amounted to making and receiving voice calls, sometimes with call divert. This call would then provide a basis upon which operators could build services in addition to those already present on a standard telephone exchange. A complete description of the IN emerged in a set of ITUT standards named Q1210 to Q1219, or Capability Set 1 as they became known. The standards defined a complete architecture including the architectural view, state machines, physical implementation and protocols. They were universally embraced by telecom suppliers and operators, although many variants were derived for use in different parts of the world. Following the success of CS1, Further enhancements followed in the form of CS2. Although the standards were completed, they were not as widely implemented as CS1, partly because of the increasing power of the variants, but also partly because they addressed issues which pushed traditional telephone exchanges to their limits. The major driver behind the development of the IN system was the need for a more flexible way of adding sophisticated services to the existing network. Before IN was developed, all new feature and or services that were to be added had to be implemented directly in the core switch systems. This made for very long release cycles as the bug hunting and testing had to be extensive and thorough to prevent the network from failing. With the advent of IN, most of these services were moved out of the core switch systems and into self-serving nodes, thus creating a modular and more secure network that allowed the service providers themselves to develop variations and value-added services to their networks without submitting a request to the core switch manufacturer and wait for the long development process. The initial use of IN technology was for number translation services, for example when translating toll-free numbers to regular PSTN numbers. But much more complex services have since been built on IN such as custom local area signaling services and prepaid telephone calls. SS7 architecture, the main concepts surrounding IN services or architecture are connected with SS7 architecture, service switching function or service switching point this is co-located with the telephone exchange itself, and acts as the trigger point for further services to be invoked during a call. The SSP implements the basic call state machine which is a finite state machine that represents an abstract view of a call from beginning to end. As each state is traversed, the exchange encounters detection points at which the SSP may invoke a query to the SCP to wait for further instructions on how to proceed. This query is usually called a trigger. Trigger criteria are defined by the operator and might include the subscriber calling number or the dialed number. The SSF is responsible for entertaining calls requiring value-added services. 
service control function or service control point. This is a separate set of platforms that receive queries from the SSP. The SCP contains service logic which implements the behavior desired by the operator, that is, the services. During service logic processing, additional data required to process the call may be obtained from the SDF. The logic on the SCP is created using the SCE. Service data function or service data point This is a database that contains additional subscriber data, or other data required to process a call. For example, the subscriber's prepaid credit which is remaining may be an item stored in the SDF to be queried in real time during the call. The SDF may be a separate platform, or is sometimes co-located with the SCP. Service management function or service management point This is a platform or cluster of platforms that operators use to monitor and manage the in-services. It contains the management database which stores the services configuration, collects the statistics and alarms, and stores the call data reports and event data reports. Service creation environment This is the development environment used to create the services present on the SCP. Although the standards permit any type of environment, it is fairly rare to see low-level languages like C used. Instead, proprietary graphical languages have been used to enable telecom engineers to create services directly. The languages usually belong to 4G languages, the user can use graphical interface to manipulate between different functions to formulate a service. Specialized resource function or intelligent peripheral This is a node which can connect to both the SSP and the SCP and delivers additional special resources into the call, mostly related to voice data, for example play voice announcements or collect DTMF tones from the user. Protocols The core elements described above use standard protocols to communicate with each other. The use of standard protocols allows different manufacturers to concentrate on different parts of the architecture and be confident that they will all work together in any combination. The interfaces between the SSP and the SCP are SS7 based and may look familiar to those familiar with TCP IP protocols. The SS7 protocols implement much of the OSI 7 layer model. This means that the in-standards only had to define the application layer which was called the Intelligent Networks Application Part or INAP. The INAP messages are encoded using ASN1. The interface between the SCP and the SDP is defined in the standards to be an X500 Directory Access Protocol or DAP. A more lightweight interface called LDAP has emerged from the IETF which is considerably simpler to implement. So many SCPs have implemented that instead. Variants, the core CS1 specifications were adopted and extended by other standards bodies. European flavors were developed by ETSI, American flavors were developed by ANSI and Japanese variants also exist. The main reasons for producing variants in each region was to ensure interoperability between equipment manufactured and deployed locally. New functionality was also added which meant that variants diverged from each other and the main ITUT standard. The biggest variant was called Customized Applications for Mobile Networks Enhanced Logic, or CAMEL for short. This allowed for extensions to be made for the mobile phone environment, and allowed mobile phone operators to offer the same in services to subscribers while they are roaming as they receive in the home network. CAMEL has become a major standard in its own right and is currently maintained by 3GPP. The last major release of the standard was CAMEL Phase 4. It is the only in standard currently being actively worked on. Belcore developed the Advanced Intelligent Network as the variant of Intelligent Network for North America and performed the standardization of the AIN on behalf of the major U.S. operators. The original goal of AIN was AIN 1.0 which was specified in the early 1990s. AIN 1.0 proved technically infeasible to implement, which led to the definition of simplified AIN 0.1 and AIN 0.2 specifications. In North America, Telcordia Senior 3511 and GR1129 core protocols serve to link switches with the in-system such as service control points or service nodes. S3511 details a TCP IP based protocol which directly connects the SCP in service node. 
GR1129 Core provides generic requirements for an ISDN-based protocol which connects the SCP to the service node via the SSP. Future, while activity and development of in-standards has declined in recent years, there are many systems deployed across the world which use this technology. The architecture has proved to be not only stable, but also a continuing source of revenue with new services added all the time. Manufacturers continue to support the equipment and obsolescence is not an issue. Nevertheless, new technologies and architectures are emerging, especially in the area of VoIP and SIP. More attention is being paid to the use of APIs in preference to protocols like INAP and new standards have emerged in the form of Jane and Parley. From a technical view, the SCE is beginning to move away from its proprietary graphical origins and is moving towards a Java application server environment. See also, Intelligent Computer Network, IP Multimedia Subsystem, Service Layer, Value Added Service. References, Ambrush. W.D., Meher, A., Sasha, B. The Intelligent Network, a joint study by Bell Atlantic. IBM and Siemens, Springer Verlag, 1989. ISBN 3-540-50897-X. ISBN 0-387-50897-X. Also known as the Green Book due to the cover. Feinberg, I., Gabazda. L.R., Kaplan Northern Mariana Islands, and Shah, N.J. The Intelligent Network Standards, Their Application to Services, McGraw-Hill, 1997, ISBN 0-07-021422-0. Majidans, T., and Popescu Zilletin, Our Intelligent Networks, Basic Technology, Standards and Evolution, Thompson Computer Press, 1996. ISBN 1-85032-293-7. Intelligent Networks by John R. Anderson, Institution of Electrical Engineers, 2002. ISBN 0-85296-977-5. ISBN 978-0-85296-977-5. External links, Tutorial on Intelligent Networks